Right guys, Mark Crossword here. We're here with Stephen Buzzer. Hello Stephen. Hello. Uh, we're at the University of Exeter again, where Stephen coaches. We are on the, uh, at the Vic Ambler Centre. We're on your yep. putting green, fantastic facility. And we are testing Odyssey Works putters. We've got the one Y, so one W tank here. We're going to test it, show you a little bit about what we feel this putter could do for our game or not. We've also got some captured data from Sam, which we did the other evening at your house, didn't we? Yeah, the putt lab on this Sunday afternoon. <laughs> evening. Slash evening. Sunday Slash evening. evening. We've got Lockie and yours yep. and my stats as well, which we'll talk a little bit about also. Let's give you a review of Odyssey Works. One wide, one W tank. Let's get stuck in. Right, Steve, uh, Odyssey Works, one wide tank, great looking putter. I like the look of this one. I, I like it as well. I like the, because the wide, the, the version that isn't wide is just like a standard sort of your ping ante, your yeah. sporty camera. And, yeah, so, so it's, it's basically so I, stretched yeah, back, I, isn't I, it? I quite like it. It gives it that mallet feel, but it's still got like the slick design of a, of a blade. So yeah, I, I like it. I agree. I, I mean, it's giving me that mallet feel almost with squareness yeah. rather than often they're more curved. Yeah. You get the line up line, we get the silver and black contradictions in colours to try and help you visualise how the putter might be rotating or yeah, not. Yeah, I quite like, like the previous verses, it was a very big contrast, wasn't it? The white and the black. Yeah. I think that sort of, sort of blends in a bit better. Okay, so I've got a white and black one and I love yeah. it. Um, so I, I'm actually, I still prefer the white and black yeah. to the silver and black because I use the white and black. Um, now this is the tank version, so heavier head, heavier hand, uh, shaft, counterbalanced. Yeah. Now we're getting super stroke grips coming through on these works putters. What are your feelings on super stroke grips? I like them. I feel sometimes people think it's the sort of the secret when, if you've got somebody that's a bit handsy, gets a bit too much rotation yeah it can certainly help okay it's doing it doesn't solve solve the issues yeah absolutely like having on my wedges as yeah well. absolutely so obviously it feels heavier at the other end you get very long grip on it so i'm holding it down below odyssey yeah. lineup here to get that little bit of counterbalance at the top maybe to let the club kind of just overtake you a bit on the way through i think it helps with people yeah. obviously the super stroke as well like you're saying you feel the turning and the movement a lot yeah, more, don't you? That's the counterbalance, but I, and I don't know what other lengths they do, but at 35, it's still a sort of a standard length. Yeah. And we showed it on the on the Sam data, didn't we? That I, I think I certainly maybe even held it down a bit too low. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's look. If you have a few putts, we'll yeah. get the Sam data okay. and show them a bit. Right, Steve, you hit a few putts. Um, if we look at the data, actually, which we captured on Sam, which is interesting here, for both of us, if I bring your one up, um, this is the one wide tank. What was interesting, your path is very straight always with all the putters, you swing quite straight. Um, but what was interesting, your strike was well collected on these putters, you were striking it well, and your rotation. So what yeah. do we mean by rotation on the backswing? I mean, you were point two open. So that means if you imagine there's that's a straight a, line. That's effectively to the camera, that is literally is close to the face pointing at the target the whole time. So in effect, to your path, that face would be almost closing slightly on the way yeah, back I, if you curved your yeah, path. Obviously my, uh, my posture is quite low. Yeah. As social media, uh, <laughs> I already yeah. know. So I, I would, wouldn't expect a great deal with mine. Yeah. I, like I said, I, well, you I were you I were might have held it down a bit too low, which is obviously not the yes. putter's fault. And that's an example of using the data to... So, so I think that's what this grip is allowing yeah. you to feel like you get lower, which yeah. then creates less... So if you imagine I held this at the top and it got a bit further away from me, it would naturally start yeah. to rotate a bit more. Because um, you're normally 0.2, so this one was considerably less. And even my data showed uh, I'm normally kind of 2 to 4 on the length putts we were hitting. And with this one, I think if I just bring mine up as well, I was, uh, rotation on this one, where have you gone? I was only 1.5, I was less yeah. as well with this one. And I think it's the straight lines of the way it's produced on the yeah. back. I think it's to do also with the way I also feel more natural trying to come down the grip a bit more yeah. on those. So you're almost more over it hitting kind of yeah. straight to straight putts. Since, since we've, we've had the sort of discovery with the Sam, I have been trying to like just hold it a little further up and doing it. It, it feels great. Yeah. And um, they've made the insert harder, yeah. I believe. Yeah, it is. So that insert, it's got a little very slim metal 
I mean, what I would call almost like a cheese grate and material, it's actually, you can really feel it, which gets the ball rolling quicker than any other putter they've made. So it's still got the classical Odyssey inserts that they're famous for, but they've got some, uh, that new, it's a little mesh basically they put on the top. The and it does give it a slightly firmer feeling. Because the Metal X putters, Years yes, ago, a similar, absolutely. Similar thing. So for me, I mean, you don't mind that feeling I, of that. I actually like it, and I'm currently using a milled two ball. So yeah, sometimes you get a slightly better feel out of the milled face. Yeah, the, yeah. The appearance of it, but yeah, I've. I really like this one. So for me, I use the Odyssey one before this, the white and black one, with the much softer feeling insert. I do feel this as a bit firmer. Okay. An interesting point. When I tested these first with Odyssey, they gave me their chrome soft ball. Okay. And then when you put the chrome soft ball on that face, it felt like my Odyssey feels now yeah. when I used my okay. non chrome soft ball. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes so when I use the chrome soft ball with the soft Odyssey insert of older, it feels really, really soft. Okay. So I think, and you can call that I'm mean, great marketing or just them obviously building their whole range around a product that they believe in, which is that ball. Um, and that's not the first time they've done that. Cause when they released their first ball, like in the white hot series, the insert was made out of the same material as the cover. Okay. The ball, yeah. I yeah. So yeah. I mean, so, I mean, as a, that they do try and yeah, match up as someone who's always a bit more on the skeptical side, I see it more as a great opportunity for them to sell don't, more golf balls around. Skeptical. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, they've got your best interest yeah. at heart. <laughs> so if you take the Sam data there for a second. So for me, what I'm seeing or would say more is that, you know, in a shop environment, I'm putting with this or oh, it feels a bit firmer than my one. And then the salesman brings out the chrome soft and then you go, you walking out with a putter and a dozen chrome sauce. Great for Odyssey and Callaway, but you know, I'm not sure if it's, um, well, they want that insert in there because they're arguing it gives better roll. The fact that it has to be a bit firmer and then they can offset it with the ball. Read that how you wish, really. Um, we both feel like we could game this one, don't we? Yeah, I, I really like it. I, I do honestly feel like I could putt with this. Um, I, I prefer it to the, so the number one, the one that's not. Yeah. Thick. Yeah. Well, we've got more like of that wide, that wide nature to that. One. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. So what's interesting as well with the SAM data, even though the data isn't particularly better or worse, the overriding factor for both of us is that feel yeah. on this one. So the look, what the stretch backness can do for us or not in our minds. And then I do quite like the counterbalance yeah. feeling. I think if you were aliens landed and you give them the brief for putting and they're not allowed to anchor, I think this is the next thing they would yeah. design. I don't think they would design the one that hands there. So if they just were told what the, um, you know, you took all the traditions away and just told them what the objective was. Good stuff. That is the Odyssey Works uh, one wide tank. Thanks, Steve. One he would game, and maybe he would bring down a putter company if he gamed it. <laughs> Good stuff. Post comments down below as always. Thanks for watching. Is it one you're going to try or not? Love or hate Odyssey? I'd love to hear. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.